Indonesia is a, is a perfect opportunity for floating solutions because of the archipelagic uh, layout of the geography. In fact, it's probably the only way that you're going to be able to develop an internal distribution of LNG in Indonesia because you simply can't build the pipelines. The key to delivering solutions in Indonesia is to use cost-effective designs for both uh, the liquefaction and the regasification, which means basic, simple designs, barge-shaped hulls with components that can be replicated. So you standardize the design. If this is done, it's a very, very suitable solution for Indonesia. It also helps to avoid some of the social and environmental disruptions that occur when you're building onshore plants, either liquefaction or regasification. In Indonesia, it will definitely be justifiable. The demand is so great uh, within the different islands and locations in Indonesia that if done using advanced designs, which means basically that they're highly modularized and they're repeatable, the technology exists to be able to deploy such designs that will provide a very cost-effective long-term solution for the deployment of LNG within uh, the islands of Indonesia. There are two key points in developing a project, and they are the overall capital expense and the time to production. And in big onshore projects in many parts of the world, we've seen this blow out. Australia is a particular example. By using much more highly focused and what I call high value density uh, modular techniques, which is basically the, the best state of the art design, you can predictably reduce the cost of a project and its time to production. And if you reduce time to production, that means you get cash flow earlier, which means that the project is more bankable right from the start. And this is, a, this is a key to enabling projects anywhere in the world. All projects are moving towards this. But if Indonesia can take this opportunity right from the beginning, it will be something that helps enable the development of their internal LNG distribution system. Well, the truth is that Indonesia has an enormous potential utilizing gas, both as an exporter and an internal consumer. So the market is very, very strong here in Indonesia, and the opportunities for development exist. One of the things that must be done is a clarification of exactly what the regimes that govern development are going to be in Indonesia. The government has already indicated that they strongly support the conversion towards a, a gas energy environment. So that's in place. But there still needs to be clarification so that people really understand and can invest strongly in Indonesia.